an employee for the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina. He just rode the seatbelt convincer. Um, how did it feel, George, the impact? I never could imagine that a 10-mile-per-hour impact could be that crucial. crucial. Um, imagine it going 50 miles per hour and running into a tree. No, nah, that would I couldn't imagine it. So the lesson from this is you're going to go back to the Boys and Girls Club, and you're going to tell our kids not to drink and drive, right? Yep. All right. Wear your seatbelt. All aboard! <laughs> Hi, this is Ozzy Osbourne. For many years, you know I've had a drink problem and I'm trying to battle that problem every single day. But one thing I don't do, I don't drive my car when I'm drinking. I get someone to drive me. Do not drink and drive. It's the stupidest thing. If you drink, just don't drive. Not only are you going to hurt yourself, you may hurt some other person and you wouldn't want that on your conscience, would you? A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation, RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters, and the Ad Council. I'm Joe Perry. And Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Here for RAD. Recording artists, actors, and athletes against drunk driving. Yeah, you know we love it when the music does the talking. And you know, the music stops when someone gets killed. So never, 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 never let someone you know get behind the wheel if they've been drinking. So keep it real, keep it real. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. A public service message brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation. RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters.